Many people believe that long-distance relationships are never going to work out. Your family may discourage it. Some of your best friends may advise you not to take it too seriously. In case you get your heart broken. Nobody says it is going to be easy. The extra distance makes many things unachievable. Things could get complicated. You could get sad and lonely at times. However, the extra distance also makes the simplest things the sweetest. Being able to hold the other person's hand. Eating together at the same table and feeling each other's touch. Taking a walk together, smelling each other's hair. These small wishes could suddenly mean so much more in a long-distance relationship. Long-distance relationships may be tough but they have their own surprises too. To keep your love alive and strong. Here are 21 tips to make your long-distance relationship work. 1. Avoid excessive communication. It is unwise to be overly sticky and possessive. You two don't really have to communicate 12 hours a day to keep the relationship going. Many couples think that they need to compensate for the distance by doing more. This is not true and it might only make things worse. Soon you would get tired of loving. Remember. Less is more it is not about spamming, you are only going to exhaust yourselves. It's really about teasing at the right moments and tugging at the right spots. 2. See it as an opportunity. View it as a learning journey for the both of you. See it as a test of your love for each other. As the Chinese saying goes, real gold is not afraid of the test of fire. Instead of thinking that this long-distance relationship is pulling you two apart. You should believe that through this experience. The both of you will be bound together even stronger. As Emma says it to Will in Season 4 of Glee. 3. Set some ground rules to manage your expectations. Both of you need to be clear with what you expect of each other during this long-distance relationship. Set some ground rules so that none of you will do things that will take the other party by surprise for instance, are you too exclusive? Is it all right for the other person to go on dates? What is your commitment level? It's better to be open with each other about all these things. 4. Try to communicate regularly and creatively. Greet each other good morning and good night every day, this is a must. On top of that, try to update your partner on your life and its happenings. However mundane some of the things may seem to up the game, send each other pictures, audio clips and short videos from time to time. By putting in this kind of effort, you make the other person feel loved and attended to. 5. Talk dirty with each other. Sexual tension is undoubtedly one of the most important things between couples. Sexual desire is like a glue that keeps both parties from drifting apart. Not only is sex a biological need, it is an emotional one as well. Keep the flames burning by sending each other teasing texts filled with sexual innuendos and provocative descriptions. Sexy puns work pretty well too. 6. Avoid dangerous situations. If you already know that going to the club, going drinking with your group of friends late at night will displease your partner then you should either. Tell your partner beforehand so as to reassure him, her. Don't be careless about this sort of matter. Because your partner is only going to be extra worried extra suspicious, and of course, very upset. Because you are putting him, her in a position where he, she feels powerless or lacking in control. Also, it could be easy for you to fall into the trap which you and unconsciously or not. Set up for yourself by, hanging out with your office eye candy after work. Going out with a girl or guy from your past who has been flirting with you. You need to recognize the dangers before entering into the situation. Don't just listen to your heart listen to your mind too. 7. Do things together. Play an online game together watch a documentary on YouTube or Vimeo at the same time. Sing to each other on Skype while one of you plays the guitar. Take a walk together outside while video calling each other. Go online shopping together and buy each other gifts. You really have to be creative and spontaneous about it. 8. Do similar things. Recommend books, TV shows, movies, music, news and etc. to each other. When you read, watch and listen to the same things. You get to have more topics in common to talk about. This is a good to create some shared experiences even though you are living apart. 9. Make visits to each other. 
Visits are the highlight of every long-distance relationship. After all the waiting and yearning and abstinence, you finally get to meet each other to fulfill all the little things like kissing, holding hands, etc. Which are all common to other couples. But so very special and extra intimate for people in long-distance relationships. It will be like fireworks, glitter bombs, confetti, rainbows and butterflies everywhere. 10. Have a goal in mind. What do we want to achieve at the end of the day? How long are we going to be apart? What about the future? These are the questions you two need to ask yourselves. The truth is, no couple can be in a long-distance relationship for forever. Eventually we all need to settle down. So make a plan with each other. Do up a timeline, marking down the estimated times apart and times together and draw an end goal. It is important that you two are on the same page and have the same goals. So that even if you are not living in the same space and the same time zone, both of you are still motivated to work together in the same direction towards a future that includes one another.